How's it going guys? Crazy Boy here and welcome to something a bit different today. Today we're going to be doing a Dead by Daylight killer guide. Now this is, guys is going to be tips for specifically newer people in the game of Dead by Daylight obviously. Um, it's going to be tips for newer people. So if you're an experienced person, you're an experienced killer, I don't know why you're, you're even looking at this, but um, if you're slightly good, but you're um, you're not too good. Still watch because you might be able to get something out of it. Um, so the killer that I'm going to be using right here is the shape or Michael Myers. Um, the killers that you'll get when you first start out are the trapper, the wraith, the hillbilly, the nurse, the hag, and the doctor in that order. Myers you will have to pay for, but he's actually pretty good. And um, basically, you guys want to use Myers or Doctor. <coughs> If you can use one of them. Now, I'm going to be playing with perks. Note that you won't have these right from the beginning of the game, guys. I'm going to be playing with uh, Play With Your Food, Monitor and Abuse, Overcharge, and uh, Thanatophobia. So, um, basically, what they do is play with your food. Each time I lose my obsession, it increases my movement speed and I gain a token. Monitor and Abuse decreases my uh, terror radius when I'm not in a chase. Overcharge makes uh, makes them get a difficult generator skill check, and Thanatophobia increases uh, or reduces the action speed of them. So that's healing, sabotaging, repairing when somebody is injured. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a game real quick, guys. <coughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get into commentating right here. Um. So what you guys see on the screen right now is offerings, and as you guys can see, the one is secret. And because it's a survivor offering, that means somebody either used one that spawns them as far away from the killer as possible, or they used one to spawn all of them together in the same location. Now, there is also a shroud of union that spawns you with one other person, but that's not as common as the shroud of binding or the uh, Vigo shroud. So um, we're loading into the game here, and what it'll do is it'll give you tips right there on that screen, um, which obviously I, you guys can't really see right now, but... You guys want to read them, especially if you're new. They're actually really helpful. But um, I forgot to mention, too, each killer has a different ability. And Myers, is, obviously, he stalks people, and then he can one-hit down you. So, um, we're about to load in. Now, there's perks in the game, such as tokens, obviously, like I talked about, play with your food. And it's also an obsession perk. So, um, when you spawn in, you will see that there's prongs around the, uh, there's like, want to be like four character symbols on the bottom left. And a normal person means that they're healthy. Uh, a person like hunched over means that they're injured. And then a person um, who's like laying on the ground means that they're in a dying state. So we spawned in this map. It's a farm. It's a decent map for Michael. As you guys can see, the play with the food is top. And you guys can see the far right uh, person icon. It has a spider web prongs on it. Um, and that means that that guy's the obsession, but you want to watch out because they might have decisive, which I will show you guys what decisive does in a, uh, after this game, but I, I have zero terror radius right now with monitor abuse. You guys can see what I'm doing is I'm standing here and I'm taking advantage of that. He doesn't see me and I'm stalking and I realize maybe I can grab this guy because if you walk up to somebody while they're performing actions, you can simply tap the attack button and it will give you the ability to grab them as long as they're still performing that action. So obviously he didn't hear my terror radius, which is also known as the heartbeat, guys. So we managed to safely escort him to the hook in the basement. Um, you always want to try and do it safely, and you try and want to put them on the, you want to try and put them on the back hook. Note they can wiggle out of your grasp though, that's important. Um, so we have overcharge, so we're gonna go ahead and kick the generator. And um, After we got the uh, successful grab that'll here. give them the overcharge skill check, and they now have the uh, fanatophobia on them because that guy is hooked. Um, so it's very unfortunate for him, but you know killers have to kill. And one of the biggest things you don't want to do though is camp. And um, so you're stalking right here. You guys heard the Meyer scene. That means he's officially tiered up the tier two. Once he gets out of tier one, he can't come back. But tier three is on a one minute timer which is the one hit down. So, when their aura turns white or red, it means they can't be stalked anymore, like blood red. Because, as you guys can see, this girl decided to run back. Pallet stuns and flashlights can save people off the killer's shoulders. You guys want to watch out for that. And pallet stuns can also stun you if you walk into them. But as long as you actually get them, they can be broken. 
That guy did not have bar time. That was a bad example of what to do, and I could have just downed her right there, but I decided to pick the Dwight up. Um, so she tried to reverse pallet stun, sure? which unfortunately okay, did not work out in her favor. One sack of play with your food again. So, obviously we lost her, so we're now a bit faster because of my perk, play with your food. Kind of cruel right so, now. we could go ahead and break this, because it can permanently Myers take... Myers is very slow at Because it can permanently take that pallet out of the um, game. And you guys can't go through the pallets anymore until you can. do break them, so keep right, that in mind. But I'm going to commentate over this, so um, if I sound like I'm not talking, so then, yeah, it's probably why. Myers and Doctor are the best to counter pallets, mm -hmm. because a lot of people are going to try and pallet loop you. Fairly she was injured, and she did not hear me coming. I got her now. So basically, guys, when you pick her up, she's the one with decisive. Okay. So if they stop wiggling, user. that's bad. That's bad. If they wait a little while and then they start wiggling and they are in the obsession, they probably have missed their decisive and you are now in the clear. You can try and decisive juggle them, which is where you drop them and pick them up in order to get into a hook, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're not close to a hook and you don't have Iron Grasp. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. Coughing in the mic. But, um, you guys can see we're looking around here. Um, so, tracking. They, uh, when they're injured, they make grunts of pain. There's a perk to counter that. And when they're injured, they will bleed, which is something else you got to watch out for. Now, you always want to try and tunnel the injured person, but you never want to camp. Because if you camp, you're not going to get any points, and this game is more, more based around points than it is killing. So as you guys can see, we kind of, like, lost her. But as you guys can see, those red things that we see, they're scratch marks. They're footprints. What? Now, when I first played this game, I was expecting actual footprints, okay, guys? So don't do what I did. The scratch marks are footprints, and they can be a bit confusing to follow at times if you don't know which direction they ran off in, but you'll eventually will, you eventually will get the hang of it, um, as it is not that difficult to actually track people, so um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw her on the hook, and as long as somebody's injured, they still have that fanatophobia on them, which is always good, but um, I have played with their food, so every time I hit her, or will not hit her, lose her, it will give me a stack, which obviously, like I said before, it makes me faster. And once you take her out of the game, you can no longer get that play with the food back. And you do lose a stack of it every time you swing. You make an attack. So that's why you want to be careful. So as you guys can hear from the uh, Myers theme, I've hit tier 3 again. Know. That guy you can see is healthy because he's not no, uh, uh, like kind of like hunched over. And he just went straight to the ground now. This guy just suffered from... So... He went straight from the healthy um, thing. That's good. You, it's a good way to get people. You want to make sure you sit on the edge of it, though. You guys can see the stalk meter okay. right next to the uh, amount of generators that are needed. Out of the game. Uh, which are right above the person symbol. And that white is the timer of what you have left of tier 3. And you have double terror radius in tier 3. And, and you have double three speed... Count in tier 3 and you have double the range in tier 3. Go ahead and so, this so it doesn't you want to use it sparingly. It only lasts for a minute without any add-ons. It is possible to hit it more than once, but you just want to you want to make sure you use them sparingly. And you always want to patrol the generators too. As you guys can see, I saw the scratch marks and I did get her right before my tier 3 ran out. She unfortunately got so mad guys that she did disconnect as you guys see right there. Uh, the symbol with the pulled plug that means she DC'd or disconnected. So we went ahead and we overcharged the generator anyway. <coughs> um, so now at this point we have two people dead and two generators right. remaining. They, as long as there's one person left, as long as they've completed two generators, they can find the hatch, which is an alternate escape. So you guys want to prevent them from getting generators done as much as possible. That's why you always want to patrol the gens. Don't camp the gens, because there is more than the needed amount of gens. Because that's not a good idea. As you guys can see, um, I saw the scratch marks once again from him. And he saw, what you guys are seeing him do right now to me around the trees and stuff is looping. Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well without pallets. Um, and he's also trying to break my line of sight, which is a good way to counter Myers. Because he feeds by seeing you and being in direct line of sight with you. As you guys can see, there was no pallet there. I hit tier 3, and it, un it unfortunately for him did screw him over a bit. He tried to run around me, which is called 72-hour juking. Uh, got him. 
Um, some people also refer to it as 360 juking, but it's more known as 72 hour juking. And 72 hour juking was lucky. is um, a tactic is used especially higher up in the yeah, ranks. He gave us the full pit so you so want to watch out for that. Anyway, so. Um, so now there's one guy left, and he has a choice. He can either save him off the hook, which I can use that guy as bait for, or he can decide to let him die and take his chances looking for the hatch, which has spawned in by now. So, we're going to kick this, Charge. and he's going to get grabbed off the hook, if I'm not mistaken yet. There it goes, and he has been grabbed. Those things, you need to go over to, because that means somebody has made noise, they've done something to make noise. So, as you guys can see, I followed him, his scratch marks, and I did hear him moaning, because he didn't have Iron Will, and I found him right there, okay. because I followed the uh, noise that moaning. he was making. So, therefore, I was able to find him. Putting him back on the hook for a second time. Unfortunately. I and then, heard. as I was walking to another generator... <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I, unfortunately, for his friend, found him as well. Trying to hide. Check a little um, I'm trying to waste Just because time doing so, though, you can't see Myers doesn't mean he... Can, just because you can't see any killer doesn't time. mean he can't see you. You always want to watch out. But, um... I did find his friend. So I apologize, guys. My clip did get cut a little short. But I assure you guys, I did get a four-man that game. And what you guys see now is uh, a game that I played as Billy a while back. And I saw the Claudette scratch marks. But you see, it just fixed the generator in um, Myers' house. Or the Strode house. Or whatever you call it. Um, some people call it different things. But um, she tried to window loop me, basically. But here's her common, here's her mistake, her yeah, biggest mistake. She ran off, and I could easily one hit down her with my chainsaw. And you guys don't want to do this, mm. but as long as you guys follow the tips in this game, mm. <coughs> you should be a better killer. You always want to try to maximize your points, Dude, even if the, really it's the last person right in the game, they're dead hooked. Try and break pouts, no. try and damage generators. Really Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy boy out. Peace. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no time. You don't know about me